Hi, I'm Tim Green. Uh, this is the third instalment of my look at uh, the various repairable atomizers that are available. Um, in this video, I'm going to look at the Bully A1 atomizer, which you don't see um, or hear much about. Uh, I think this was the first Bully atomizer that uh, they brought out of this type, at any rate. Uh, so let's have a quick look. Um, and see how it performs. Right, well we are, what we have here are the various bits that comprise the, the bully atomizer, the A1. Um, it is slightly different than a regular repairable atomizer in that it doesn't have the standard type of connection. It uses um, an RCA connector here. Now that bully referred to it as an A1 or a pinch connector uh, quite simply because it just slots in and there's no screwing or unscrewing it just pops in and pops out. Uh, simple as that really. Uh, this is the atomizer section itself and the already familiar positive and negative terminals and the wick and wire arrangement there. Now this atomizer um, uses a cartridge um, using standard cartridge type technology <laughs> for want of a better way of putting it but it's actually a big cartridge it's a big cart it's got your normal filler material inside but this cart will hold um, about two and a half mil of liquid um, so it's, it's like the equivalent of a mega tank really um, but because it's a cart, it's obvious you know, what, what, what's happened with the A2 is they decided to go with a standard style cartridge uh, to bring down the dimensions. Because this one is, is a bit on the big side, really. I mean, this is the body, the main body of the, uh, the atomizer. The atomizing section, uh, well, the, atom the cartridge goes inside the tube here. The atomizer section goes on the outside, screws on, and your mouthpiece on the top. And there's your mouthpiece, which you might recognise as the mouthpiece from a 701 um, cartridge. Now, the Bully website, you can buy all these spares. You can buy a spare cart um, and this sell the spare mouthpieces as well. Um, and I've found that the spare mouthpiece, the price of that is actually more than a spare 701 cartridge buy it somewhere else. So if you do find yourself with one of these, buy a 701 cart, take the mouthpiece off and away you go if you need a new mouthpiece. So because of the um, the RCA, well the A1 connector on this, you can't use it with a regular mod. So for this, uh, for purposes of this I have the Bully Extreme with an A1 female connector in there and I'm going to use this for, for doing the, the, the demonstration. Uh, I've previously uh, wound the wick and wire to um, 1.7 ohms. Um, and what I'll do is I'll just prime the, the wick um, with a bit of liquid. I won't use a lot, it just, just, just enough to get the thing started. I mean, putting this together is actually no more difficult than it is putting any regular repairable atomizer together. Um, I suppose one thing I should mention is that if you if you prefer to drip, you could put a 701 to drip tip uh, co uh, converter into there, um, not put the cart in, and then just drip directly onto there. That's what I do with the A2, uh, and I imagine that would work just as well with the A1. Right, so the mouthpiece is on. I'll make sure there's enough juice. Uh, I have previously filled it, but I've had a few more drops for good measure into the cart, which pops into there. There's a recess down one side of the cart to allow the airflow. And we take the bottom section, we push the wick inside, make sure I've got it all inside, because you don't want the wick getting caught up on the threads, like so. And that's 
how it looks assembled. Doesn't look like your regular um, repairable atomizer, does it? Uh, I actually quite like that about it. The uh, if you're that way inclined, you can um, make yourself a connector to connect from a, uh, an RCA to five ten or whatever. I know I've seen other people do it, especially on ECF, uh, and I believe there are one or two other mods that are available with this type of connector. I don't know if it was a, a standard that people were aiming for. Um, I think really if it was a standard there'd be a lot more of them knocking about now but uh, we just slot that into the A1 uh, into, into the Bully Extreme like that and there you have uh, it is quite quite a long mod it's an 18650 uh, mod obviously with an extra section here to allow for the room needed for the, uh, the RCA connector and repairable atomizer at the top so let's just show you how this vapes. Now, that's not a bad vape at all. It's a little tighter on the draw because the top section of the atomizer is flush to the bottom so um, you've only got very tiny, there's two very tiny slits around the edge uh, to allow the airflow. Taste is very, very good on this. Very good. And it doesn't. There's not a massive amount of vapor. Part of that is with the juice that I'm using. Um, but I think that's also about the air to liquid ratio. There's not a lot, lot of uh, air getting in there. There's enough, obviously. As the atomizer is breaking in, you get a bit more. So, what else can I say about this, really? Um, I mean, the workings of this we're all very familiar with. I've still some juice there, let's get rid of that. Um, we're all very familiar with the workings of it. It's It's basically a larger version of an A2 um, or uh, you know they, they'll work in a similar way uh, what to say about it I mean it's hard to give you an opinion about the A1 without actually also bringing into it the the uh, the Bully Extreme as well and the reason for that is because of this connector um, this is the only mod that I own with this type of connector this is the only atomizing element that I own with that type of connector. The two will always live together, so and I bought them together. Uh, you can buy that just on its own, but why would you? Honestly, um, unless you're going to make your own mod with that kind of connector in it, there's no reason that I can see that you'd want to buy that on its own, which is probably why it's not talked about very often. Um, so, I'll try to keep my my opinions solely about the atomizer, but you have to bear in mind that because of the limitations, um, the fact that I can only use it on that mod, uh, I mean, you can get most of the other um, bully mods with an A1 connector, I will state that. Uh, I think the only one that comes without, that doesn't come with a, an A1 connector, if you choose it, is the bully slim, but so I'll, I'll I'll try and I'll try and be, you know, objective and just keep it about the atomizer as far as I can. Um, right, well, looks wise, um, what do I think of the look? 
Um, honestly, not very much. It's all right. It's not particularly aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing. Remember, half of that is your connector. Half of it you're never going to see. So you just really, it's just the tube section here and the mouthpiece on this mod, which works well enough, um, but it's it's a piece of aluminium pipe. Um, so it's all right. It's 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 not, you know it's it's a tube. Um, there's not really much I can say about it aesthetically, um, and for that reason, I'm going to give it a middle of the road score uh, to reflect that. I mean, I, I have seen um, versions of the A1 um, and versions of the Bully uh, Extreme. That have been uh, engraved and indeed um, Setin um, ha does provide an engraving service uh, for his mods which is fantastic which is great it makes it a little bit different in some ways I wish I'd got the engraved versions because then it would have been you know a little bit more exciting to talk about so I'm gonna give this an average score of five um, it's a mod it's a tube it's a atomizer that's a tube. You get the point. Ease of use. Well, it's as easy to use as the Mark T Bug or the Bully A2. Um, it's very easy to disassemble, as you saw there. There isn't actually much of a thread on here, I think. Yeah, there's half a turn. You don't need any more than that. I mean, because you're not unscrewing it, you're not going to, you know, it's not going to put any stress on there. So that's fine. But there's only half a turn of thread on there. Um, ease of use. I'd say it's slightly easier to wire it up than the Mark T uh, and the A2. Quite simply because this section is larger. So if you've got bigger fingers, um, it's gonna you're gonna find it that little bit easier. The terminals are a little further apart, uh, and therefore it is just because it's a little bigger, it's gonna be a little easier to wire up. Um, the fact that the cartridge is inside, that's fine. It's all nicely hidden away. So I would. Overall, for ease of use, because you're not having to screw it, it just screw, it pushes in, pulls out, um, I would give that uh, a 7 out of 10. Even though I've given it a 7 out of 10, please don't think that I necessarily think that that's fantastic. It works brilliantly, and it works really well, it's got really good flavour, but uh, and it's easy to use. But, well, you can make up your own minds, I suppose, really. Um, next category, flavour. Um, as I said, the flavour is really good. Um, there's a, it's a little tight on the draw, meaning there's not that much airflow going into it. I personally feel that if there was more air going into this, that the flavour would be better. That it's that's, that, that's what I honestly believe. It's. Is because it's a little tight on the draw. It does for me. It does affect it. Sorry, just sneaking a quick toot. Um, so, but I would say that the uh, the flavour is far superior to um, the flavour of a tank. Uh, it's not close to dripping. But it's certainly it's better than a tank atomizer, um, and for that reason, I'm going to give this a seven out of ten for flavour. Uh, now, my next category is adaptability. Um, well, as I said, you you know you could take off the mouthpiece, take uh, put on a, a seven hundred one to drip tip adapter, um, take out the car. And use it to drip. 
you could. Would you? I don't know. I I mean, it, the, the whole... I've had this mod for a number of months now. I don't use it very often. Um, and I've had the 701 to drip tip adapter that I use on my A2 for quite a while. And doing this review was the first time it occurred to me that I could use that adapter on here. Which says a lot, really. Um, I honestly don't see this as an adaptable device. An adaptable, certainly, excuse me, and certainly not an adaptable atomizer. Less so the mod. There's, you know, the, the mod itself, well, it's good for the A1 because of the A1 connector. And that's it. In that respect, I'm going to give it a three. It's it it could be adapted. I suppose there are things that you could do with it, if you could really be bothered. Um, I haven't been bothered, and that really about sums it up. Value for money, uh, final category. Now, in all honesty, it's okay. The fact that I have to buy a mod to go with the atomizer kind of makes it a whole different ball game. I mean, it wasn't cheap for for this tube mod and the atomizer. It really wasn't cheap. I mean, we're talking three figures. It was about I think it worked out about one hundred and ten pounds, something like that, which is a serious amount of money. Uh, sorry, that's £110 for that, and then the cost of that on top. It's a serious amount of money. Um, if you're only going to buy one device, and one repairable atomizer, and you want it to look uniform, and you don't mind using a tube, then fine, go for that. Um, it comes with the usual metre of wire, metre of wick, um, a cart, and the mouthpiece. So you get everything you need, by the screwdriver. Um, so I'm going to give it an average score of 5 out of 10. Quite simply because you get everything you need. If you don't need anything else, technically, you can buy that. And you know, and as long as you've got the batteries and, and all the wick and wire you need, you don't need to revisit anything else. You know, if it's just a case of, you know, if you if you just want something that's going to last you for ages. That's fine, in that case it is value for money. I'm going to give it a middle of the road score of 5. Um, because, I, you know, it's... It, well, you, you can see for yourselves. So, to summarise, that's 5 for the looks, uh, 7 for ease of use, 7 for flavour, 3 for adaptability, and 5 for value for money. Uh, and that gives me an overall score of 5. Um, so it's an av average mod. And, and that really sums it up, I suppose. It's an average, it's an average device. It's an average atomizer. I mean, the thing is, here's the thing. It's not an average atomizer. It's a cracking atomizer. It's a good atomizer. But it's been implemented in, in a way that's never going to make it rise to being anything above mediocre. If that was sleek all the way down with a regular 510, 901, 801 connector on, that I think with the larger size would be hugely popular, especially upon those that are a little, struggle a little more with the dexterity, etc. But as is, I'm afraid for my money, it's a mediocre atomizer. And a mediocre device. Um, I don't like talking bad about products, and I'm not really talking bad, I'm just giving you my honest opinion. Um, so there it is the Bully A1 atomizer. Um, and we've probably explained through the course of that video why you don't really hear much of it. Um, it could be better. And there you go. Um, so anyway, the next um, I, the next atomizer I'm going to look at in my next video is going to be the the little brother to this atomizer, the Bully A2, and we'll see there how things evolve. Until then, 
I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope this video has been of help and keep on vaping.